And this morning, my take is titled, A Patriot's Love for the Supreme Law. Today, in honor of a most consistent, inspiring, and illuminating irritant of the Republic's love-hate patriot of a one-man think tank journalist of every document interceptor, I share just a couple of his favorite verses of the Ghanaian constitution. Yeah, I just got to know on Thursday during the CDD's 13th annual Kruntini Akwamu lectures that Abdul Malik Kwekubako and I have special love for same portions of Ghana's uh, supreme law. I read out the following with little or no commentary and invite you to pay close attention for one may be just all you need to quicken the true Ghanaian spirit in you for service to God and country. Here we go, Article 1-1. The sovereignty of Ghana resides in the people of Ghana, in whose name and for whose welfare the powers of government are to be exercised in the manner and within the limits laid down in this constitution. So you see, the power is yours. He also enjoys what Article 3 charges us to do when a person or persons who commit high treason and by violent or other unlawful means suspend or overthrow or abrogate the constitution or any part of it. And Clause 4 says, All citizens of Ghana shall have the right and duty at all times to defend the constitution and in particular to resist any person or group of persons seeking to commit any of the acts referred to in clause 3 of this article and to do all in their power to restore this constitution after it has been suspended, overthrown or abrogated. The beauty of this is that if you killed to resist an unlawful disruption of the constitutional order, you commit no crime. You heard Kweku repeat that. In fact, you will be rewarded by the state. And he loves that part in particular. Article 35.1 says, Ghana shall be a democratic state dedicated to the realization of freedom and justice. And accordingly, sovereignty resides in the people of Ghana from whom government derives all its powers and authority through this constitution. Again, you see, the real power resides in you. Article 15.1, the dignity of all persons shall be inviolable. No person shall, whether or not he is arrested, restricted, or restrained, or detained, be subjected to torture or cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. Any other condition or any other condition that detracts or is likely to detract from his dignity and worth as a human being. Please do always insist on this your God giving birth right to be treated with dignity. Article 41 The exercise and enjoyment of rights and freedoms is inseparable from the performance of duties and obligations. And accordingly, it shall be the duty of every citizen to protect and preserve the public property, public property and expose and combat misuse and waste of public funds and property. Kweku says, thumbs up to the new movement of intellectual citizen activism <coughs> as demonstrated by Occupy Ghana, Citizen Ghana, etc., who go to the courts to compel the state to do right by the citizens. Article 1625, all agencies of the mass media shall at all times be free to uphold the principles, provisions, and objectives of this constitution and shall uphold the responsibility and accountability of the government to the people of Ghana. The job of journalism is an enormous task, if you didn't know. And finally, Article 296, 
Where in this constitution or in any other law, discretionary power is vested in any person or authority, that discretionary power shall be deemed to imply a duty to be fair and candid. The exercise of the discretionary power shall not be arbitrary, capricious, or biased, whether by resentment, prejudice, or personal dislike, and shall be in accordance with due process of law. So there you have it. Only aspects of six of the 299 articles of the Constitution. Yesterday was your special day. Happy birthday, Abdul Malik Kweku Bako. You're such a great inspiration to me and many in this country. Right, so that's just by way of my take.